Just shut up. Why did you yell every, every time? time? What? And I be like, like, stop yelling at my fur. I do. I be like, ah! right here. I don't want to take you to a concert. Right. Because you're going to be like. I'll get loud. Just off the strength to see if I can get loud. But you guys, we are back with another episode of Beyond the Chair. Beyond the Chair. Episode this four. Episode four. Throw your foes up. That's what my daughter be doing. Throw your foes up. Her teacher so get up. But he be telling her to throw her foes up. So Sahara, if you're watching this, baby, throw your foes up, boo. Um, but today we want to start the episode off a little different as we do per- And why do you say we're going to start the episode off a little different every single episode? And it because don't be like different. Because it's like your man. You want to give him a little something different every single time. But it, it be the same different. thing every time. No, no, no. It's the same coochie different It's like different saying, baby, I want to give you something different. It's same like, girl, you- coochie different tricks. Chad, it be a thong every time. Thong, okay. thong, 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 thong. And that's your problem because I wear all my granny panties. I said you stop doing that. I may have or may have it. But today, I really want to sit down with Trish and have a moment of silence for the people out there who are struggling with mental health problems. You may be going through a depression, just a different season in your life that you may not speak on with people in your life. So let's just have a moment of silence for those people and just put a little prayer in the air for them. Yes. So moment of silence first. And you are not alone. I'm going to be silent now. Can I go ahead and say a quick little prayer? Quick little prayer. So, dear Lord, we want to thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for allowing us to see another day that you've created. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us breath in our bodies. We vow to not be ungrateful. We vow to do everything we can to please you, to praise you, and to lift up your name, dear Lord. I thank you for everyone who can hear my voice right now, whether you are sick, depressed, sad, or indifferent, dear Lord. I pray that you give people the strength that they need to keep on pushing. I pray that they believe the strength that you give them to keep on pushing and know that we are going to survive. In Jesus' name, we consider it done. In your name, amen. In God's name. Thank amen. you, God. Amen. Thank you, God. Okay, and so. And I don't take that lightly. No. Because I, I battled really, 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 really bad depression. When? At a point in my life. Oh, for a long time. Like, from eighth grade to about, like, 18. You did say you started early, friend. I yeah. think that my depression... Not even eighth grade, eight years old. Child. You ain't have no bills? Ch- no, I went to a private school, mm-hmm. and when the World Trade Center happened, um, they made me sit in front of the TV screen in and third grade it. and watch people blow up and cry. So Ooh. every time I heard an airplane, I was, like, crying. Like, oh, my gosh, they're going to come get us. And I just battled depression off and on for, like, my whole life until mm-hmm. I was, like, 18 or so that's when I finally was like okay Trina, you can't keep doing this no I struggle with depression to this day like really yes but I'm happy that I can see it like I can know okay this is when I'm at a peak and from there I can go down to a spiral and I tell you that like Trish if I'm on a real high right now with us in our business like maybe next week or a week after that I'm gonna be at a really low point so I just need you to you know take up for me and just be a little bit more sensitive in those moments but I deal with ongoing depression depression as we speak and it, it it's not so much that it's hard or that I want to kill myself or anything but it's just like at least I can acknowledge it I can take that time to step back and draw back and just go through it and then come back out on time mm. so I do want to take the time for those people who are going through that because I feel you I see you just because we're on Instagram and we're smiling like we only show Instagram what we want y'all to see Mm -hmm. but Instagram is only an illusion and just know that it's somebody else out there that is going through the same thing with you and we want to hold your hand and we can do it together so just put some hearts in the comments for those who are struggling, if you are struggling yourself, just drop a heart too. Let's show some love to the people in the comments mm-hmm, today. Mm-hmm. And just work extra, extra hard. Even if it's only for three seconds to say, okay, I'm not depressed right now. True. Like I did tell myself, like, I'm not depressed right now. Even mm-hmm. that means if I'm going to be depressed a minute later, in these first five seconds, I'm not depressed. And True. I think you just got to take on each second, each minute, each, you know, day, hour, as it comes. And you really have to just thank God for even sustaining you and for being able to be here and to breathe. It's people out there who are on machines. Mm-hmm. It's the just fact that breathe. we can say God in our business friendship. Cause I love that for us. Without God, it's nothing. Who is we? It's not beyond the chair. It's not Trishon. It's not Des. It's, it's not. God that sustains team. all. Like, praise God. And, Amen. And that's it. So, from there, um, God did provide us with some liquor today. <laughs> <laughs> be serious. Oh, you have Look, I don't know where it came from, but God bless the hands that 
prepared it. Okay, God blessed us, and he also blessed us with a sponsorship. Yes. So I want to shout out to Bamboo and yes. to Vion. Yes. And we have this drink that we like to make. What is it called, Trish? It's called Krima. Krima. Say it loud and proud. Krima. It's called Krima because it tastes just like Krima. Mm -hmm. So all you need is two things. It's not complicated. You need some Bamboo. Yeah. It's a Vion. And Bamboo is more like a... Let me show the camera. It's more like a coffee base, like cream liqueur. Mm -hmm. And then Beyond is like, see that, friend? Mm -hmm. Beyond is like. Ooh, we getting lit so, tonight. R.I.P. that dick tonight. Hey, we getting hey. lit tonight. R.I.P. that dick. Wait, you pour it. Okay, we got the same. All right. So let's put this. Down because a little too much of this will really get you. So we have to hide it from ourselves because it's so freaking good, y'all. And we just love Krippa. So it Krippa all year around here because ladies who get money, we don't have to wait till December 25th to splurge. No facts. We can just. You gotta raise your eyebrows when you do it. If you got a little nasally going in there, it's going to clear it out. But you know what I said this crimin was? Hmm. You know what I said? It's the cure to COVID. So if you have COVID, you know how they make like hotty toddies? I feel like the crimin, and I did that because it's 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 the cinnamon, cinnamon -y like taste. Yeah. So it it's, it's like an eggnog crimin. Mm -hmm. It, it, it tastes like Christmas presents. And it crimin, 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 crimin. So as we sip on our crimin, I hope y'all at home make y'all a little Krippa. Mm -hmm. And we want to get into a little chat today. Well, a big chat today. Big chat. The topics that we picked today it's are like... It's real deep. Is it deep or it's, is it something that we should touch on? It's both of them, but it's deep. It's what? It's deep. What? Zip. How do you spell that? Z-E-I-P. Zip. It's Zip. <laughs> My friend said it's real deep. Mm -hmm. Um, but the first thing on my list, cause I make a list and I like to bring it with us. She do. So, she be real organized too. I'm not really organized, but I do have touch talking points that I want to talk on because I just want to see like where you come from and where I come from and how we deal with different things. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because you know people love our friendship. They want to know more about how we deal with things. So let's talk about losing friends because at the top of the year we both lost. lost. Like close but people to us. But we gave each other. Yeah, no facts. And, yeah. and I'll do it all over again. And I will do it all over again to get to the point where we're at. Because right what now. you say, I sign. And what you said, I sign. Uh, so we want to talk about losing friends and how we deal with that because it's not easy. Like losing a friend is like really going through a breakup. So Trish, how was it when you lost your friend closer to the beginning of the year? And then I'll talk about mine. Um, I want to say, you know, at first you feel like. You know, you want to do everything in your power to keep it going. Like, you know, how can That's I... That's just you, though, Trish, because yeah. I don't be caring. See, I do. I'm like, you know, how do I tread lightly? And I'm the type of person I always try to go within. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to look at myself like, okay, am I making somebody feel like this? Or, you know, I tell you all the time, like, I wonder if they're mad because I said this. Like, I always want to make sure that I don't do that because I used to not care. Yeah. So now I'm on the verge of, like, caring. Like, okay, let me watch my actions. But I also realized, too, like, I don't want a friend where I got to tread lightly and feel like I'm walking on eggshells. True. Like, because one thing you always tell me, though, Trish, is like, like this, what you dish out, you can take, and exactly. I can take it. You can, but some you got people thick skin. can't. I I do have thick skin. Mm -hmm. I am a crybaby though. She is a crybaby for sure, but crybaby and thick skin is a little separate. True, they're sold separately. True, and you just come with both. But I also understand that. So the friendship that I was once in is like. I couldn't go against what that person would say or they would take it as I'm coming for them and I like what I like and I'm not comparing them but what I like about you mm -hmm. is like I said I could say whatever I want to say True. respectfully mm -hmm. and you just be like okay you might say a little one two back but you be cool and it, it don't be like I'm mad no but the thing about you Trish is you're not disrespectful like you're very self conscious in a way that you you'll say and you'll put it on the table because we had to literally have a meeting last night at a table so that everybody can literally place their things on the table and Trishana will tell you how she feels because when we left, my best friend, uh, Tiana, was like, 
I like her because she say exactly how she feel without, you know, being disrespectful. And that's something I can appreciate mm-hmm. because when we're communicating, it's never disrespectful. We never go for the jugular. We never go for below the belt. Mm-hmm. We focus on the problem that's at hand. And I show a little in- tough love. True. I'm a tough lover type of person. Me too, but I cry sometimes, and that's yeah. okay. Because when it's time to make this money, when it's time to put our game faces on, we put them game faces on with no problem. Look at my face. We do. Game face. And that's something I can appreciate because some people wouldn't be able to sit here after arguing for two days like ourselves. <laughs> two days straight. Two days straight. <laughs> day in and day night. Some people wouldn't be able to sit here after having a debacle with our teams and getting our teams together and tearing our teams apart and doing all that stuff. Like, and shout people, out to the team. Cause shout out to the team because they deal with a lot. Yeah, so yeah. if you are on our teams individually and together, separate, whatever, we're all one team and we all move as one. That's what mm-hmm. I always like to say mm-hmm. for the both of us us like mm-hmm. would you say you sign and mm-hmm. would i say you sign but mm-hmm. thank that's thanks to our teams but speaking of myself i told myself i would never ever in my life again mix business with friendship somehow you slip through the cracks because i trust you but I lost my whole team on January 1st, 2022. Mm -hmm. And it was a blindsided moment because it was like I put so much love into this person. I loved that person. And that person worked for all three of my businesses, my YouTube, my personal brand, and my new pages brand. Mm -hmm. And she sent me an email. Mm -hmm. And and I remember because you called me. And Des, you wasn't even a caller at the time. I wasn't a caller at the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, and she said that we'll be terminating all three of your businesses on January 1st. It was actually actually four of my business because I'm opening a storefront Mm -hmm. and to me I'm never the type of person to walk out on a friendship or walk out on a team effort until the curtain is closed Mm -hmm. so when a project and I get 50 11 chances yes so when a project is closed then you walk out but to walk out on me in the middle of me having an event and having all these things that really hurt my feelings and it it didn't it it didn't want make me want to love a person as a friend again but let me say this though and I quote Wale, the great Wale has a song. He said, I lost a lot of friends and they ain't even dead. When yeah. I was on my way up, why you ain't see the stairs? Yeah. And so I look at it as, as I elevate, there's going to be people who you do not have to cut off. They're just going to fall off on, that, on thine own. And I'm happy that thine fell off on thine own because when that person fell off, I elevated to new heights. To I made place. new friends. I started working with different designers. I started working with different photographers. I started working with a lot of different people that I would have not worked with, if, if I was zone. still, it could because I was comfortable with that person. So thank you to that person and thank you to God. Thank for you to every, that man. Yes, for every door that opened and for every door that, that closed. closed it. Uh huh. That he what? Closed it. Closed it. Closed it. It's like that's one word. No, closed it is like one thing is like it closed and you can rekindle. Closed it is like it don't come back. Okay. Thank you for every closed it door and every open door that God has opened placed. it, but it's fine. Okay. Thank God for every closed-it door and every opened-it door that he has ever closed and opened uh-huh. for me because those two things work together hand-in-hand whether I liked it or I didn't as a human mm-hmm. to get me to where I was supposed to mm-hmm. go. And, and for that, I thank him. And, you know, I didn't went through some hell and high water with you business have. relationships. But here we are today because you got to just use your discernment and know what's different. Like I said, we also operate business the same way. True. You know, like we are great delegators. True. What? Delegations. Okay, guys. Um, throughout the episodes, as Trishana's dictionary grows, um, we will make sure that we put the word and the definition and the synonym and the antonym mm-hmm. in the descriptions. Like close did it, open did it, hold did it, mm-hmm. you uh so Croatia, understand. Confucia, all those type of things Vacation. that my friend Vacation, all those things. Those will be in the description box below. So let's mm-hmm. move on to our next thing. And do you want to ask that question? you want me to ask that question? You go ahead and ask it. And this is not to be insensitive to anybody's culture or anything like that. But I would, when I'm driving down the street in my 6'4", mm-hmm. was a Range Rover. Cruising. Cruising down the street in my 6'4", which is now a Range Rover. Um, I asked myself, are beauty supply owners racist? Or are they smart for putting beauty supplies only in urban neighborhoods? Oh, pick me, 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 pick me. Thank you for picking me. Um, so this is what I like to say: people build their income off the strengths of black people. Yes, I said it. People 
people will build up their money off of black people and run back to the white folks. Yep. What do I mean by that? We have Childish Gambino. He dates a white woman. He understands that black people are the biggest consumers. Mm-hmm. Look at me getting sober and serious. Get sober. He understands that black people are the biggest consumers, so he creates music that really, like, pushes black people to, you know, mm-hmm. some type of sort of rage or, you know, frustration or a mood, and then he makes his money off of us, off of streams, whatever, True. and he, he dips. Uh... Peel, the Jordan Peel guy who made Get Out. He's married to a white woman. You but lie. He, I never knew He's that. married to a but, white woman. But the whole movie was about white people wanting to embody Because black they know people. we're going to feel that in our souls and yeah. we're going to buy. Why do you think they put liquor stores in the hood? Because black people are the biggest consumers. And I'm so okay. tired mm-hmm. of black people being the reason why everybody gets rich and we leave ourselves like empty and broke and and it's so sad because when i was looking at that question and i was formulating that question is are beauty supply owners racist it's not racist or are they smart it for me though trishana it falls right dab in the middle it's like they're smart for knowing their audience because i'm all about knowing where my audience is and speaking to them directly but it to me is racist because all the money that they make in the black neighborhoods they don't put that money back into the black neighborhood why do you think they put chinese foods in the hood and i'm and i'll be right there getting my ten dollars uh fried rice and it's because of the ten dollar fried rice they give you so much they give you so much fried rice Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. and then w- what I can say about that is like black people are one of the most obese races you, well, in you the see, nation. Well, you see what we did for Popeyes and they got damn chicken sandwich. We will take anybody's business as consumers in the black community and we will build them up. Mm-hmm. to become multi-millionaires and then when we come back and be like i'm broke i'm about to get evicted my baby daddy my baby mama owe me some money and my car not starting yeah. it's like we take all this energy and push it to so Other many people's people. products mm-hmm. and it really bothers me like i really like i could cry like i Don't re- cry. not today i, I, I really 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 want us to do better and start being producers instead of consumers say that one more time for you again yes I really want us to be producers instead of consumers. If we can make somebody else rich, how can we can't put a fraction of that back into our own pocket? True, because when I look at gas stations, when I look at beauty supplies, when I look at nail salons, when I look at some hair salons, it's like black people are not the owners of it. We're just the consumers of it. And if that can be they very make hair we want to know how to style it the best true if they make nail polish goddamn we want to know how to design it the best true. why don't we think how do i just sell it mm-hmm. like how can i just mass produce this you know like <sighs> and that is where we came in with beyond the chair that is what this whole podcast this whole movement this whole everything is about because we teach service providers how to stop thinking like consumers mm-hmm. and how to think like producers, producers. Yes. my mama told me you can stay creative forever or you can lead with your business mind. She was like, if you lead with your creative mind, you're going to be broke. Yeah. If you lead with your business mind, you will learn how to make money. And you will get to that next level that you want to get to with less work. Hello. Because that's what we focus on, too. We focus on making more money with less work. Less so fraction of the time. So that's something that you're very interested in, we're going to leave the link in the description box below to get into our last class for free at beyondthechairinfo.com. If and you know to be what? A consumer, you want to be a producer. No facts. And can we go on and get into these topics real quick? Some yeah. top topics. Because speaking of, you know, black people being so upset with, like, what us, basically, because yeah. they mad. They to- Can we talk about it? I mean, let me sip some criminal. Sip some crimin while I tell let you about these. Sip some, sip some crimin while I tell let you about these gifts crim- that we've been getting in our comments. Okay. So it's... It, it, it's been brought to my attention, it's been alleged, that yes. a lot of the black community is in a frenzy yeah. from what we've been saying. But I think that when I come into an industry or I come into any any place, I, I came to shake the room. I didn't come to just sit at a table. I really came to shake we the room. We ain't never scared. What? We I ain't, ain't never scared. scared. Look, if you both ride, beat that hoe up. Beat that hoe up. Beat that hoe. Beat that hoe. And I know I'm saying it calm because I don't want to scare them. But because I really could really get, you know, a little bit raunchier. However, I think that it's good that we're shaking the table because we came into an We came and Michelle say, ooh, this bitch is shaking the table. This bitch is shaking. <laughs> they say Kay Michelle is my twin, so hey, friend. Listen, but we came into an industry where people were using hair, nails, lashes, and stuff as a survival tactic and told them like, it's a hustle. that's not. 
It's like equivalent to selling drugs. You mean say you, you say a little bit louder? What? It's almost equivalent to selling drugs. It's almost it is equivalent to selling drugs because you gotta keep that pack in. Like you gotta keep standing behind that chair to make your money. And that's not always the way. Like the richest people on this earth do not provide Do the a least service. amount. Do the they least amount of work. Service. So Trishana made a post and she said you cannot pass that salon down to them kids. And let's talk about I the said you cannot chair. pass that damn salon down to them damn kids. It wasn't and they, the salon, actually it was the chair. Yeah. That was bad. Tell us why. I can they read the comments. said allegedly what about people who want to do hair and it's their passion? First of all, it's your passion because you don't know nothing else. True. Let that sink in. Okay. It's your passion because you don't know nothing else. It's your passion because you haven't pushed yourself to do anything else. It's mm-hmm. your passion because you have not exposed yourself to other stuff. True. I think as, you know, women, men, individuals, it's our job to expose ourselves to new things. True. And, and the thing is, the people higher up want to keep you in that place. So, of course, they're not going to expose you to new things. So, when we came out speaking, it sounded like a different language. We might be aliens. I might be alien. We might be aliens, friend. And some people don't know how to react wow, to it. Wow, I was this year's old when I realized space. we was aliens. We're aliens to these people. Mm. But... As we move on with Beyond the Chair and we grow I gotta call my chair, mama and tell her I'm an alien. Yes, I'm an alien. But as we grow and we start to teach them more stuff about how to get beyond that chair, they're going to be so strong-minded that mm-hmm. they can stand in any battle and they can fight with the weapons that we give them and the knowledge that we give them. Yeah. So I feel like that is what will set them aside because they're going to know they don't have to braid hair every day when they can just come out with a braiding pack of hair. Facts. You can True. teach braiding. True. And you can. Uh, I want to ask you a question, too, mm-hmm. though, real quick, for mm-hmm. a top topic that's highly discussed. Okay. Um, because stylists don't want to style. They don't want to wash hair. They don't want to do anything. Do you think it's mandatory that stylists should be able to have to go to hair school or nail school or esthetician school to be able to provide a service? I'm going to say no. What? I'm going to say no. See, that's the problem now. That's why they charge it to style. But, but, that's, but I feel like that should be more of a reason to get out. See what I'm saying? I'm mad now. Nah. Really? How do you feel you about think yes? sty- how do you feel about stylists charging? But friend, we didn't go to school for it and we was making money off of it. I did it for ninety days. But we was still making money for it. My like what if they told you you couldn't make money for your ninety days until you went to hair school? But let me ask you this question. How do you all feel and how do you feel, Trishana, about stylish charging to style hair, charging to wash hair, charging to curl hair, charging for thicker hair. How do y'all feel about them? Shall they charge you to part your hair? Yeah. And if you need four braids, it's an additional $20 per part. If you need your hair combed, it's an additional $25. And your mom owns salons, and that's yes. not how it was no. growing up. No, you like, get oh, one price. Yes. yes. So as... Uh, um, service provider, where are all of these prices coming from? I think the issue is they need more money, and instead of learning how to grow, they like, I'm going to just charge for every add-on within yes. the service versus just adding on a hair care product or yep. adding on, you know, like, add-on, yes, add-on within the business, no. Like, that's, I mean, within the, the product or the service is stupid. Yes. Like, respectfully, if I got to wash my own hair and come part it, why the Am I paying you? You see, yeah. I, I'm not cussing because you're And that's why I don't want to pay these stylists these days because these new age stylists, first of all, they're charging over $200 for a frontal that's coming off the next day. And two days. That frontal sweats. Y'all, I paid I, I $800 for my sewing or my frontal for my birthday last year. As soon as I got in the goddamn, I'm not cussing. I just, I'm not cussing. Just as soon as I, yeah, it's Christmas. As soon as I got there, my lace was lifting up and they had to tell me like, yeah, I don't care who do my hair, it's going to live in 24 to 72 hours. So to pay those ridiculous prices, that's my fault for indulging in it. Mm-hmm. But for them to charge those ridiculous prices when I can just give me a silk press yeah. and take care of my real and hair. And nowadays, they don't even have shampoo bowls in their things. They, and they don't have shampoo bowls. And they helping your hair break out. Like back in the day, that was oh, when you went growing yeah, your hair. hair growth. Hair growth. But these stylists nowadays, and I'm sorry if you were stylists nowadays, but please get it together and really think of your clients and put those clients first mm-hmm. unless you're going to do a product add-on. Yeah. And speaking of product add-ons from um, service providers, I definitely want to give a shout-out to my girl because she understands the art mm-hmm. of adding 
different classes and stuff. So yes. shout out to Olivia. And she's so, so beautiful. Pretty. She is. Hey, Olivia, girl. Hey, Olivia. Congratulations on your makeup master class tour. That's huge. Yes, I've been paying attention, and she have really been putting the girls on on how to make that face it's, look like skin. It's like if you know, you know. Like, yes. there's the beauty industry, and then there's the beauty industry. Yes. it's people like Olivia who's trailblazing and really pushing the industry for by teaching other girls and getting those classes and she also has supernatural cosmetics which mm. is always sold out because those lashes are very bomb so i would definitely cheers to olivia and her success her master class her lashes her supernatural cosmetics her moving to houston to later houston Atlanta, vegas and she's good at marketing and she's very good at marketing. So shout out to Olivia's song, girl. We love you over yes. here at Beyond. We got to get her on the show. We do. Is you going to drink? Yes. And okay. I'm, and we're going to get her on the show. So let's move on to Tequila Truths. Mm. You going to take it? You be waiting. You be pump faking. You be like, and you'll just cheers me to death and just won't even drink it. Cheers. Girl, we didn't cheers four times to the same shot. I'm not even supposed to be drinking. So if I'm going to drink, you're going to sip okay, it. Okay, cheers. I knew you was going to drink the whole thing. That's why I'm glad I didn't fall for it. Oh, Tequila Troops, your fave. That shit nasty, yeah. Oh. That shit nasty. I got to. So, today on Tequila Troops, I want to ask Trishana a question. Mm -hmm. And Trishana's going to ask me a question. Mm -hmm. But as a friend, Mm -hmm. What's something that you do not like about me? And it's tequila truth, bitch. I didn't I didn't expect this. You want the truth truth. It's tequila truths. It's not that I don't like it. Let's start there. Okay. I will say, Des, you do, friend. Okay. I feel like you asked this question because there's something you really want to tell me about no. me that you don't hey, like. Hey, don't start with that overthinking shit, bitch. Just tell me what you don't like about me. You're just a crybaby. So? You're a brat. But it's like, I already know that, though. So it's not that I dislike you. True. Yeah, I just like, I just know. True. Yeah. As a friend, that's what you're going to have to deal with. Cause no, I understand. And as a business partner. And as a business partner. No, I don't think you should have to deal with it as a business partner. But well, as we a dealt friend, with it on the day as a business partner. Okay, that was just for today. But I do want to look at myself in a mirror. And you know I'm very self-aware. So I do want yeah, to look at are. myself as in a mirror. And I will say this. In the midst of you being a big-ass crybaby today, I knew that you felt bad. True. I, I, and I, I did. I know that you did. And I did, but when when we got to stay and when we got here and we got on camera, like I really cleared it up. Like yeah. it's not no tears on camera, but sometimes I just have. I to I don't be want no human. tears on my contracts. Do True. you hear me? I don't. But sometimes, as a human friend, I just have to have those emotions because as business women, we don't feel a lot. So yeah. on the times yeah. where I do need to feel, just yeah. And I feel. think too, like when you are where we're at and where we're trying to go, you mm-hmm. become a product. You know, mm-hmm. and this is something that's not talked about. But sometimes I do feel like a walking product. What can mm-hmm. I can do for other people who I can pay and, you know, how I can help people get their financing or whatever for their businesses whatever. or business help. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, sometimes I have to write down what makes me feel like True. my goddaughter makes me feel, mm-hmm. you know, business makes me feel. So I, I understand that. True. But what you what you got to say about me? No, um, I don't. I don't. I have another question for you. Okay. Because in your you've been dating allegedly. No, before we get there. What's something you don't like about me? Something that I don't like about my friend is that sometimes, friend, you need the spotlight. And I don't need the spotlight, so I don't care. I will literally do like this. Mm-hmm. When? Like, friend, sometimes you get so needy. Like, if we sit in here right now and it's like it's time to take pictures, you're like, oh, dude, let me get it. Let me, let me go first. Let me, let me, let me to post. Do, do you like my post? Do, do, do uh, like, uh, uh, I'm just like, Duke. Get her because, like, go ahead and take my friend pictures and let me just play. The, I don't mind playing it back, but sometimes it could just get annoying because it's just like Trish, it's okay. Or another thing I don't like about you is that you overthink, so it's like, why is this person ignoring me? You think they don't like me? They didn't invite us there. Actually, I think they are having an event. They told us that they canceled because they don't like us for real. Because when I was there, I smiled too hard, and I'm just like, 
Yeah, I do. I'd be like, well, what did I do to... But yeah, no, I, I think self-centeredness, I'm going to blame it on being a Leo. Because okay. that's what I be hearing. Okay. I be hearing about Leos that they self-centered. But I don't care because I don't mind giving you the spotlight. So it's, if we were both like that, it would be a problem because it would be like, we will fight for the spotlight. But I, when I shine the spotlight on you, you literally shine it right back or you'll shine it on me yeah, first. Yeah, I do. So it's no problem. It just sometimes it irritates me as a Capricorn. That's it. Okay. No, I've been hearing that my whole life. I'll give you that. Yeah. I'll eat that one to the chin. Yeah. Okay. But it's not a bad thing. But I also don't want you to be so self-conscious in the space where it's like if somebody, if something little happens, you blow it up and you really overthink it. Like, oh, this person didn't like us or didn't like me because I'm like, and I'm like, no, Trisha. I'm like, they just canceled the event. Like, yeah. Just relax. Like, I be thinking people act funny. And then they don't even be do, acting funny. And they don't. I just feel like, but like my therapist said, yeah, and I always talk about her therapist. The lady. Yeah, like the lady says, people can't bring out an emotion that you aren't already feeling in yourself. So I do think you just need to do some self-reflection and just sit there with yourself and ask yourself, what are you feeling in that moment that makes you feel like people feel this certain way about I think it's a little trauma. Because I used to never really consider other people's feelings. And so I think now I'm overcompensating because I went so long without considering people's feelings. True. Not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. So in my adult ages, I was like, okay, partnerships, money, Mm -hmm. and um, people that I'm working with, how can I try to consider people's feelings? And so now I overly do it because I, for and so long I never gave a damn. Because the more you're pouring into somebody's glass and yours is empty, you're going to feel depleted. So I really want you to so find, find that boundary. Yeah, find, create boundaries and find balance for yourself so that as we move further together, we won't really have to deal with those insecurities because to me I do feel like that's like an insecurity. Yeah, it is. Because people used to always tell me that I didn't care about nobody else but myself. So now I'd be like, okay. How can I care? How can yeah. I? But don't overly do it, friend, because I don't ever want you to feel depleted. Okay. My next okay. question is Tequila Truth. Let me take a little bit more. Just take your half one. Oh. Oh, I, I was even supposed to be drinking. Clink, clink, clink. Oh. Spit it out. Okay. My next question for... Tequila Truths. Mm-hmm. And I know this is not public information. But yes, I'm you in be your, throwing me curveballs. What you fin to say? I am in your close friends. Okay. And recently in your close friends, you made a statement that stood out to me. Mm-hmm. And you basically said somebody that you was dating started dating somebody else. Talking to. Talking to, Yeah, somebody that you were talking to started talking to somebody else. And you said a statement, and you was like, did he use me to get him to the next level and then splurge on a, like, a lower type of... So, when it comes to dating, do you have boundaries? Like, what do you look for in your partner? Because to me, it feels like you try to... You try to make, you have this ball of stuff that you want somebody to be, mm-hmm. and you try to put it and in And I them. like, come and come and ha, and I like to And you hum and hum and ha, but it was never <laughs> in them to begin with. So where is that disconnect I coming from? I think I'd be bored, friend. Don't be bored. No, I think I'd be bored. Do. No, it'd just be like, first of all, I think I'd just be talking, for one. When? On your close friends or in life? In life. Okay. I think I'd just be talking. One minute I'd be wanting to be in love, the next minute I'd be like, I'm out of love. So I think I'd just be talking for one. So mm-hmm. never take me too, 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 too serious. No, friend, because I take you really, 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 really serious. And then I just be like, let me draw back and see how this is going to play out. I'm always no, you a do. supportive friend. You never but in it. But sometimes I don't get in it. You're never in it. You're never in no, it. No, sometimes I will get in it. But I, I think that it's more of. I do feel like to a certain extent, guys cannot keep up with the women that they portray us to be. Because to us, we're normal. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still leave the house looking crazy, hair all hair on even. I do that every day. You know what I'm saying? Looking crazy. But to the outside looking in, they're like, oh, these women are sharks and they are these mm-hmm. big boss women and they need a man that's this and this and this. And I'm so chilling down to earth. So I think cool. it's to a point where guys think that they have to come to, like, come with the super mega ultra 3000 pack Mm -hmm. to get my attention and it's like you don't have to do that like you know and guys thrive when they're like providing Mm -hmm. you know with money but trish do you look for a man or do you look for a maid because you want a man to come home rub your feet rub your coochie lick your neck lick your ear do your bun, take your lashes off wash your face call you all damn day do you look for a man or do you look for a maid 
let me say this. The person I was talking to, I think they had somebody. And I think that's why they were not. No, as- friend, you didn't think he had nobody because every time I told you he was doing something, you're like, oh, no, he's doing this. Oh, no, he's doing that. Oh, no, I just know from his career that he's at this place. And I'm thinking Okay, to let myself, me ask you a question because okay. I'd be looking for both of them. Okay. What you look for? What What's going to take Des off the map? I'm off the map. Really? So what took you off the map? Um, it was love without sex, love without money, love why without... Why you... Okay, so why you always say without sex? You're not into sex? No, I'm not a sexual person. Oh. I cannot have good sex with somebody unless I'm mentally attracted yeah, to them. Same. If I'm not mentally attracted to them, no dick big or small can make this pussy wet. Mm. I literally have to be so do you look for attracted. Do you look for a maid or you look for what you look for? I look for a man. I don't care Describe for him. that. Three so, words. So, as in a man, I look for security, I look for a leader, and I also look for somebody who's emotionally available to me. What I mean by emotionally available to me is I am an emotional person. Like you said earlier in the episode, I do cry a lot. So, I need somebody to be receptive to that. And a lot of men don't know how to be receptive and open we, to emotions. But, too, we go through so much. And he has to be and able to roll with that. the punches. And that's where my gym comes in because a lot of men don't understand that. So, for somebody to finally understand that and be able to roll with my emotions as a human and as a business, this woman mm-hmm. that's when i fall in love amen y'all give it a round of applause for miss this being off the map and in love because you know that's all i want for you i believe in love you could tell me you want to talk to a crocodile and i'm gonna True. be like i am all here for it and I don't if it talk don't to work a crocodile i talk to a green heart but listen if it was a crocodile or a tortoise to and the hair I'd be like, I'm all for it. True. And you know I'm like that. Like, and, I'd be like, I'm all for it. And, and to love unconditionally, like, I can't explain why I love this person. That means I really love this person. <laughs> and with that being said, that is episode four of Beyond. Top five. You in love, friend. That is episode four of Beyond the Chair. We yes. will be back for episode five. I do want to take this time to tell everybody to like Comment, subscribe. subscribe. Tell your friends to tell their friends so we can all be friends. So we can all be friends because I really want to see this platform grow and I think we've been doing amazing things. So leave a comment below and I might give away something. What about a MacBook? Maybe. Uh, Find out episode five. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.